This is a transnational dataset which contains all the transactions occurring between 2010 December 1 and 2011 Dece December 9 for all UK based and registered non store online retail. The company mainly sells unique all occasion gifts. Many customers are wholesalers. Okay, this is our dataset. And we, as you can see, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 columns. It is invoice number, stack code, description, quantity, invoice data, unit price, customer ID, and country. And what we have to find uh, is to find the uh, clusters between quantity and unit price. Is there any correlation? Is there any clusters between? these two size and what the result we hope to have is to get a, a chart when our data set point will be represented as this graph as you can see in i axis is unit price and on x axis is unit of item and we need to find the clusters like this for one kind of units for second kind of units and so on so on and the results should be uh, clusters like this i hope that i will succeed and keep on so for this i use hierarchical clustering and this csv file is from my database and the step number one is to import all the libraries so i import numpy uh, matplot and pandas so keep working through these libraries. So step number two is import dataset. For importing I use uh, dataset variable and pandas library and using uh, read CSV method. So I enter data CSV and my x variable is for the calculation. I take specific values from dataset as including all rows and I'm taking 3 and 5 columns. Why 3 and 5? So let's open dataset and I will explain you. Okay, this is our dataset. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 columns we have from 0. And we take 3 and 5 because it's quantity and unit price. So come back to our code and execute it. So, as you can see, we take only these two columns. is quantity and price. Okay, now, step number three, using a dendrogram to find an optimal number of clusters. For this, I import SkyFi cluster library and I take hierarchy as CSV. Uh, for making dendrogram, I create a variable that name is dendrogram and I use specific method that means also dendrogram. Uh, in parameters, I write CSV linkage, that is very special method for making dendrograms, and including my x vector and using method word, it is a special method for making a dendrogram. Okay, executing and executing dendrogram. Okay, and you can see this is my dendrogram. And according to the rules, according to the theory, I must choose the, the longest lo vertical line and make the intersections in uh, another vertical line. And as you can see, I have three clusters, three intersected points. Okay, this is an optimal number of uh, my clusters and in my code I executed. So, uh, step number four is fitting hierarch hierarchical clustering to the database. So, uh, now I know my optimal number of clusters and now I will set it to our model. Uh, for this I import CQLearn cluster uh, module and take agglomerative clustering uh, library to my code 
uh, I create a HT variable to make my hierarchical clustering and I using agglomerative clustering method. So in parameters and cluster I set value 3 because optimal uh, uh, value of my clusters is 3 according to the dendrogram. Affinity is Euclidean distance and linkage is also word that is what's before. Okay and I create IHC variable. Uh, why this for? IHC shows uh, in which cluster your value is belong according to calculation. Now executing it and you will see. Okay, and executing IHC and open it. Okay, and you can see uh, which item belongs to which uh, cluster. For example, this depends to zero and this depends on one cluster. Okay, and step number five is to make visualization. Uh, for this I using a matplotlib library, it's nothing special. I use plt scatter method including x uh, list, x vector and enter parameter ihc. And because uh, I want to visualize uh, cluster number one, here I enter values for zero AC 0, 0 and 0 0.1 size is 100 and color let's say it could be red and label simple cluster number 1 okay this is only for cluster number 1 now repeat this line for cluster number two. So change the color for blue and increase the uh, value of our list from 0 to 1 because it's cluster number 2, now it's cluster number 3 so value is 2 and let's create a title title is cluster of board items and x-axis is quantity and y-axis is price in dollar and including the legend and let's see what we have executing all this block and let's let's see okay we have uh, three clusters cluster number one is red cluster number two is blue and cluster number three is green okay and for example what it could happen if we change our clusters number to h so increase our lines for visualization and okay and this is only for testing and you will see the difference okay this is now we have H clusters you see is too much and if you want to have more information about how to use uh, clustering you can go to my LinkedIn page this is a example how to combine clustering to GIS is geograph geographical information system go to my LinkedIn and let's see in the next tutorial